I'm doing t-shirts and I'm printing for t-shirts, what kind of file do I send? All right, what's the best thing? What am I gonna get the best quality? What are these people asking for? What in the world are these people asking for? They ask me, can you send it vectorized? So I'm gonna use an example. I'm gonna take something that I hand drew, uh, I'm gonna vectorize it, and I'm gonna show you exactly, walk you through the process of how exactly you would go about saving it. And it's actually very simple when you actually learn how to do it. And I'm gonna guide you through the process of this where there's no questions or you know, unanswered things. And it's actually really simple, really simple. And you're probably wondering, why is this guy's hair wet? If you have any questions or anything gets unanswered in this video that you're still confused or boggled about, I will be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. Just leave it there, any questions, and I'll, uh, I'll try and answer you as soon as I can. And, uh, but let's get, this, uh, let's get this tutorial started. All right, so what we're gonna do first um, is I have this image on my desktop, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, open, we're gonna preview this. All right, so you can see it's just some crappy photo taken with my phone, actually. It just shows to show you exactly how easy this is, right? So, um, I mean, you can do it a lot more professionally. You can scan it, you know, but uh, I took the lazy way out. I just uh, took a picture. This is just for an example. Okay, so we have this, right? We got a white background. We got black, right? Because it's on a piece of paper. Did this with a Sharpie, not perfect at all. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna open with Photoshop. We're gonna start from scratch here. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're going to hit Shift C, which is just gonna bring up our uh, our cropping tool. We're gonna to go ahead and hold Alt. I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze that right there. Alt is just going to uh, do the same to the opposite side that you're adjusting. So this way it's even. We're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna isolate that and click OK. Click Enter or you can just check the box. Um, next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a levels adjustment, right? And uh, let's also add a black and white. And then we're also going to add a final one, which is going, we're gonna use, let's use brightness and contrast. All right, so we're gonna start with levels. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just crush the blacks, right? Cause we wanna get those blacks like deep. We wanna do the same with the whites and just brighten the whites. We don't want like any like, parts lagging, we don't want any grays or anything like that. We want to make this as sharp as possible. We want it to have a nice, nice finish. So this way it's nice and sharp. We can go ahead and go in and just take a look at it. Maybe not so crushed because we want, we don't want those edges to start getting pixelated or anything. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go over here to uh, black and white is fine. Uh, the reason why we do the black and white um, because when we go to the image trace in Illustrator, you can see right there we have like some colors and stuff like that, and we just want it as clean as possible. So I just like to, it's just me, but I like to add a black and white right there. So this way we just have a grayscale. And now we're gonna go to brightness and contrast. We're gonna take the uh, the contrast and we're just gonna bump it up like way up to 100. Just blast that. Uh, after that we have a pretty good, pretty good stuff there. Everything's looking pretty fresh, pretty good pretty clean so we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna go to file we're gonna save it save as I'm just gonna go here do a JPEG um, let's just save it as we'll call it black I'm just gonna save it to the desktop and uh, go ahead and save it as a JPEG JPEG is fine we're just gonna save it all the way for the quality it's not even that big so hit OK everything's fine all right, so now that we've got our image on our desktop right here, we're gonna go ahead and right click. We're just gonna open with, we're gonna do Illustrator. Bring it into Illustrator. Once you've got that loaded in there, I'm just gonna zoom out there just so we can see it. We're gonna go ahead and click V, our selector tool. And uh, we're just gonna click on it, have it selected. And there's gonna be an option called Image Trace. We're gonna go ahead and just hit that. All right, and just hit OK. Now it's going to do its thing. It's going to load for a little bit. Depending on your computer, uh, the process may vary. We're going to go ahead and um, I've fiddled with these a little bit. You can actually go to these are little presets and stuff like that, depending on what you have. Um, and you can, you know, mess around with them, uh, depending on the type of art and how much detail you're looking to uh, to do. And there's other tutorials, a lot of things out there for which uh, we're not going to get into too much here. 
because uh, this is mainly about how to save for textile. But we're just going to give an example. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, I like this. This isn't too bad. Uh, it didn't come out so bad. Yeah, no. We're, this is fine. We can work with this. So um, we're just going to go ahead and expand it right there. And now that we've got it expanded, I'm going to select off of it. And I'm going to, you can either click here on the uh, di direct selection tool, or you can just hit A. Right? And then you're just going to click on the background, the white space, and then you're just going to go ahead and hit backspace, just delete it. All right? Then you're going to have these little spots. You can just go inside of them and just hit delete. Just delete it. Just delete all of this. Go in there, just delete it. Okay, and we're pretty much good for there. So now we've got... So now we've got our... We got our stuff. You know what? Let's go ahead and get this right here. Let's work on our artboard. I just want to make it bigger. Just want to make it the actual size. Again, we're holding Alt so that we have both sides evenly distributed. Let's just take the bottom a little bit. Go ahead. Okay, so now we've got our image there. So now I'm going to explain vectorizing. Now, if I click on this B and select it, you're going to notice all these fine points made along it, right? What we did was we took that and by image tracing it, we actually vectorized it. Turned this image right and we created shapes out of out of this image. If we continue to zoom in, no matter how large we expand it, it's never going to pixelate on us. It's never going to blur. It's always going to maintain its sharpness. It's going to always going to maintain its shape. So now if we go into Photoshop per se, and we go ahead and zoom in, you're going to notice it's going to start blurring, it's going to start pixelating, and then it just looks like crap. So let's just say we're putting it on a shirt, right? And we send this to them, right? They can, they, they have the ability to scale JPEGs, PNGs, you know, things like that, but they're not going to come out as good. And they're not going to maintain that sharpness. The best way that you're going to do for textile is you're going to want to vectorize it. Right? That's how you're going to maintain that sharpness. That's how you're going to be able to do it. And now I'm going to show you how to save it. Okay, so now we're back in Illustrator. I'm going to show you exactly how to save it so that when you hand it over to the printing place, that they're going to be able to take it and make it whatever size you want with no problem and no pixelation, and they won't be bugging you about it. So here, we're going to go to a file, right? And we're pretty much going to save as, right? And we do our save as. Uh, let's just save it and keep it as uh, uh, black. We'll keep it as black. But what you're going to want to do is you're actually just going to want to save it as an Illustrator file. It's that simple. Save it as an Illustrator file on your desktop, wherever you have it saved. Always stay organized, please. <laughs> but that's it. If you're doing textile and you're sending to a printing place and you want them to have full control over what size it can be and not have to worry about it pixelating or blurring or having any sizing issues, just send them the AI file. They actually love it when I do that. I have never had any complaints or any problems and I have done tons of shirts, believe me. So it's really that simple. Save the AI file, send them the AI file, the original Illustrator file, just send them that. Right? Just make sure you keep yourself organized inside of Illustrator. Keep all your stuff organized. If you have more than one, I mean, this is super simple. This is only one, one layer here, so it's not complicated. But you just send that bad boy over to them, and that's it. It's really that simple. All right, so if you found any of this helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to share. Please share with anyone who you think might need it. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Any questions or anything like that, just uh, just let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to, uh, to get on it. Thanks for watching again and uh, Happy New Year to all of you lovely people. God bless and remember pizza is life. I am really hungry.